we have photos of individuals that their home of record was Kansas. And then we also have individuals that served at Fort Leavenworth, McConnell, Fort Riley. So we wanted to make sure all these individuals were honored. So we have about 300 individuals that we need to honor today. And I appreciate you carrying on that memory of that individual. I also want to say thank you to all the volunteers and, and just to reiterate to everyone, my name is Melissa Jarbo and I am the founder of the Military Veteran Project. We're a 100% volunteer organization. So everybody here today, nobody receives a dime. So your money that you spent on your ride or you gave for the pancakes or you gave to the pretty girls and Mark um, is going to go 100% to advocating for adequate medical care for our military. Okay, we're in the process of having a partnership with the Veterans Administration Hospital and Department of Defense. One biggest thing that I'm pushing for, if you guys know my story, is adequate medical care and to make sure that if the VA gets a cutback, they don't shortchange or short staff our Veterans Administration hospitals. They don't short staff the Department of Defense hospitals when our wounded warriors are coming home from the battlefield. So a lot of your money is going to go either to pay for those medical bills for those individuals when the VA cannot get those people in to be seen right away. And your money will also go to the advocation, which is lobbyists, attorneys, um, miscellaneous things. So today you're given the photos. What we need you to do, you're going to hold the photo of that individual and you're going to complete the roll call by saying, today I'm riding in honor of Staff Sergeant Jamie Jarbo or whoever's on your photo. Okay, so what you're going to do today is you're going to live for them. Since they cannot be here with us, they died for us. So we'll live for them today and we'll ride in their honor. I'm riding for my best friend, Daniel Dowd, Army, Vietnam. Specialist, oh I know Ronnie. I know Ronnie's mom and I'm riding for my son, PFC Aaron Thomas. Today I'm riding for PFC, Jeremy Drexler, whose mother is with us today. It's my honor. Also, Army Sergeant Scott Johnson, riding for my son, Sean Michael Wright. Captain Corporal Lugan. Staff Sergeant Jenkins. Riding for my brother, Corporal David Unger. Sergeant Linhart. Specialist Ajowski. Riding for Corporal Hernandez. Specialist McKenzie. Sergeant Knox. Specialist Hardage. Sergeant Jones. PFC Eddie Myers. Army Specialist Thomas Moffat. I'm riding in the memory of uh, Matt Stark and uh, Scott Johnson. Uh, uh, Sergeant May. And Private First Class. Staff Sergeant Donald Regal Sr. I'm riding for Lance Corral retired colonel, uh, 31 years, Vietnam vet, and every spare chance I get to uh, honor the sacrifice of our young kids, our men and women, we do a lot of funerals. We like to go to the airports and welcome the youngsters home. Uh, regardless of politics, you know, we, uh, we love the Warriors, and today at special times out here in this beautiful uh, landscape and next to the cemetery, we're honoring those that made the ultimate sacrifice. My name is Deborah Drexler, mother of fallen soldier PFC Jeremy Drexler, KIA May 2nd, 2004, Iraq. We are writing in memory of our son-in-law, Matthew Stiltz. He was killed 11-12-2012 um, in Afghanistan. It's awesome that how the support from the well, all the bikers and they are always there to support the fallen soldiers and the soldiers. They are an incredible group of people and it touches my heart 
every time I see them stand up for our soldiers. I served 76, 77. Um, I'm here at the Dom. This was an awesome idea. Whoever the lady that came up with this and put this together, kudos to her. I mean, this is incredible. All the bikes out here. I served from 87 to 91. Um, I'm also here in the dorm, uh, and you know, same sediment. This is this is great to have these guys come out and you know, not only honor the fallen, but honor all vets. This this is something that needs to happen a lot because it, it means a lot to us guys here in the Dom, especially because we feel like sometimes we're forgotten. But uh, you know, this this was incredible. I love it. Thank you.